Welcome to the Bible in Slow English. Today's reading is Genesis chapter 38. At that time, Judah went down from his brothers and visited a certain Adulamite whose name was Hira. There, Judah saw the daughter of a certain Canaanite man named Shua. He took her and went into her. She conceived and bore a son, and he named him Ur. She conceived again and bore a son, and she named him Onan. She yet again bore a son and named him Shelah. He was at Chazib when she bore him. Judah took a wife for Ur, his firstborn, and her name was Tamar. Ur, Judah's firstborn, was wicked in Yahweh's sight, so Yahweh killed him. Judah said to Onan, Go in to your brother's wife and perform the duty of a husband's brother to her and raise up offspring for your brother. Onan knew that the offspring wouldn't be his, and when he went in to his brother's wife, he spilled his semen on the ground, lest he should give offspring to his brother. The thing which he did was evil in Yahweh's sight, and he killed him also. Then Judah said to Tamar, his daughter-in-law, Remain a widow in your father's house until Shelah, my son, is grown up. For he said, lest he also die like his brothers. Tamar went and lived in her father's house. After many days, Shua's daughter, the wife of Judah, died. Judah was comforted and went up to his sheep shearers to Timnah, and he and his friend Hira, the Adulamite. Tamar was told, Behold, your father-in-law is going up to Timnah, to shear his sheep. She took off the garments of her widowhood and covered herself with her veil and wrapped herself and sat in the gate of Eniam, which is on the way to Timnah. For she saw that Shelah was grown up and she wasn't given to him as a wife. When Judah saw her, he thought that she was a prostitute, for she had covered her face. He turned to her by the way and said, Please come, let me come in to you. For he didn't know that she was his daughter-in-law. She said, What will you give me that you may come in to me? He said, I will send you a young goat from the flock. She said, Will you give me a pledge until you send it? He said, What pledge will I give you? She said, Your signet and your cord and your staff that is in your hand. He gave them to her and came in to her. And she conceived by him. She arose and went away and put off her veil from her and put on the garments of her widowhood. Judah sent the young goat by the hand of his friend, the Adulamite, to receive the pledge from the woman's hand. But he didn't find her. Then he asked the men of her place, saying, Where is the prostitute that was at Anayim by the road? They said, 
There has been no prostitute here. He returned to Judah and said, I haven't found her. And also the men of the place said, There has been no prostitute here. Judah said, Let her keep it, lest we be shamed. Behold, I sent this young goat, and you haven't found her. About three months later, Judah was told, Tamar, your daughter-in-law, has played the prostitute. Moreover, behold, she is with child by prostitution. Judah said, Bring her out and let her be burned. When she was brought out, she sent to her father-in-law, saying, <clears throat> I am with child by the man who owns these. She also said, Please discern whose these are, the signet and the cords and the staff. Judah acknowledged them and said, she is more righteous than I, because I didn't give her to Sheila, my son. He knew her again no more. In the time of her travail, behold, twins were in her womb. When she travailed, one put out a hand, and the midwife took and tied a scarlet thread on his hand, saying, This came out first. As he drew back his hand, behold, his brother came out. And she said, Why have you made a breach for yourself? Therefore, his name was called Perez. Afterward, his brother came out who had the scarlet thread on his hand, and his name was called Zira. This is the end of Genesis chapter 38. Come again to listen to the next chapter. Tap on the description below to find a link to our website. And if you found this podcast, please like us, subscribe, and share us with your friends. Thank you for listening to the Bible in Slow English. This is Janet Benish, your reader.